one of the great pleasures you can have in Western Australia is driving through the outback. Now this particular region, the Gascoigne Murchison region, is beautiful. There are three major pathways. The first one is the Miners Pathway, which goes from Payne's Pine through to Megathara. The second is the Kingsford Smith Pathway, which goes from Gascoigne Junction right through to Megathara. And then there's this one, the Wool Wagon Pathway. Starts just out of Geraldton and finishes up in Exmouth. That's where we're headed. About an hour from Geraldton, the drive takes you through some spectacular outback countryside, which between the months of July and October become a sea of colour thanks to the amazing wildflower displays, from everlastings to the iconic wreath flower famously found in Mullawa. First stop on the pathway is the tiny town of Pinda. Now, it's not that far from Geraldton, or actually it's not that far from Mullawa, but it was once the bustling hive of activity as it was the railhead where all the wool was shipped down the wool pathway. Today, it's home to just two people. And there's that beautiful old pub behind us. That's not a pub anymore, it is a guest house for part of the year, usually around the wildflower season. So it would be a nice place to stay, another place to check out on the beautiful wool wagon pathway. Now this fence here was built by a bloke by the name of Frank Whitnoom. His name's associated obviously with a gorge further north. But back in the day, this guy was a founding pastoralist in the region. And he literally came from a banking job in Perth up into the Murchison and helped build fences. In fact, this one they said he actually personally put in himself. Now the ground is rock hard. And these fences, they were all cut post themselves from trees that are around the outside by hand. And just to put it into context, there were 879,000 put into this station. It would have been incredibly tough work in really difficult conditions. And this is just another one of those incredible experiences, learning experiences, I suppose, that you get as you take the journey along the wool wagon pathway. spectacular is this? This is Irribidi Bluff. Now it's number eight on the wool wagon pathway. And I've got to tell you, there's a heck of a good story with this. It goes back 600 million years ago. That used to be the ocean floor and you find fossils up there still. More recently, well, pastoralists use it to survey the land. And of course, for thousands of years, Aboriginal people would have used this to look out over land and of course, people coming from other places. Now, this is just number eight on the journey. There are 23 stops on the wool wagon pathway. One of them that I'm really excited about and can't wait to get to is Mount Augustus. It's the single biggest monolith in all of Australia, bigger than Uluru, and it's meant to be spectacular country. Just another thing to look out for as you take the journey. I'll share some more images of that in a coming story.